Welcome back to Geometry. We're going to take a look at some review from yesterday's lesson. Clearly, you should have complete this problem prior to watching this video. This is just to check. So go ahead and pause the video, start it up again when you're done with the problem. And you're back. Okay, so we're going to classify each angle as acute, obtuse, or right. And we don't have a, a protractor, or, or do we? So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to pull up a protractor, because it's going to be hard to tell WTU without a protractor, without measuring it. So I'm going to pull up my protractor, math tools, anytime, protractor, all right. It's a big protractor. I set it up here. So I'm putting the zeros right at the point where the legs come out. I'm going to scroll, bring this down a little bit. All right, so this is, uh-oh. There we go. So now I have this line SETU, or line SU, right along the zeros. And I can see that my, it is just past 90 degrees, isn't it? So on this one, I mean, I can tell it is it, it is obtuse. It's just just a bit past 90 degrees. So we have an obtuse angle. Well, that means that these two angles are clearly acute. So angle XTS, XTS is acute. Angle WTU is obtuse. Just, just by us, just, just by that much. Okay. All right. So next question, BD bisects angle ABC, where the measurement of angle AB is one half Y plus 10, and the measure of angle DBC is equal to Y plus 4. Okay. Find angle ABC. Well, I'm having a really hard time visualizing this, so I'm going to go ahead and draw it. So we have angle ABC, and it may not be, my drawing may not be to scale. It's okay. I just needed a place to put these things. And B is in the middle, so it's this point right here. So I'm going to say this is point A. I'm going to call this one right here point C. And BD bisects these, this, these two angles. So I know that this angle is congruent to this angle. So that's what I know so far. Okay, I feel much better. I have a drawing, I have a direction, I know where I'm going. So then it says the measure of A, B, D is one half Y plus 10. Okay, B, D, C is Y plus four. So that means that one half y plus 10 has to equal y plus 4. All right, well, let's go train track this one out. So uh, let's go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. So I get 1 half y minus plus 6 is equal to y minus 1 half y minus 1 half y. And I get 6 is equal to one half, or yeah, negative one half y. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, well, it's a positive, duh. I'm sorry, positive, because one minus one half is positive one half. I need to go home, I'm getting tired. So then, it's the opposite of multiplying by one half, multiplying by two, so multiply by two. So I get 12 is equal to y. Let's double check. I, it's getting a little sketchy on that math, so let's, let's make sure it works. So y times 12, or, or 1 half times 12 is 6. 6 plus 10 is 16. So using this number, I get 16 for angle A, B, D. Let's figure out what we get for angle um, B, sorry, D, B, C. So we have 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. It works. We're good. Okay. Next question. K is in the interior of angle LMN. 
measurement of angle LMK is 52 degrees, and the measure of angle KMN is 12 degrees. Find the measure of LMN. Whew. I think I need a drawing. Alright, so we have angle L M N. And we have a K, which is inside a point K, which I'll just put here. The measurement of angle L M K. L M K. So I'm gonna put a new line segment connecting L and K. L and K. Alright, so the measure of LMK, LMK is 52 degrees, and KMN is 12 degrees. What is M or LMN? Oh, well, it's just, this is the angle addition postulates. We have two adjacent angles, then the sum of the large angle, sorry, the sum of the two small angles equals the, the uh, measure of the last angle. All right, so... Uh, add these two together and we get 64 degrees. All right. Finally, the measure of W, Y, Z is 2X minus 5. The measure of X, Y, W is 3X plus 10. Find the value of X. Hmm. I'm all stuck on this one. I don't really have any numbers. Well, what do I know? Well, I know pairs of angles. Well, I, I know we have a straight line here. And a straight line has an angle measurement of 180 degrees. Oh, it has 180 degrees. And we have two adjacent angles. So that means 3x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5 has to equal 180 degrees. So let's do it. So we have 3x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5 equals... 180 degrees. All right, so let's add these two together. 3x plus 2x, well, that's 5x. So we have 5x, 10 minus 5 is negative 5, positive 5. Clearly my head is starting to not be right today, which is equal to 180 degrees, minus 5, minus 5, and we get 5x is equal to 175. So now let's divide both sides by 5, divide by 5, and let's see what we get. So 17 divided by 5 is 3, so with a remainder of 2. So we get x is equal to 3, 5 goes into 25, 5 times 35. All right, so let's double check, make sure this is right. So 2x Plus minus 5. So 2 times 35 is 70. 70 minus 5 is 65. Alright, let's try this side. So we have 3x plus 10. So 3 times 35 is, well, that's 90 plus 15. That's 105. 105 plus, um, 105, 105 plus 10 is 115. 115 and 165 have a sum of 180. So we're good. We double checked. All right. I hope you did all right with that one. And go ahead and check the next video where we talk about pairs of angles.